Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Shivy Boy back on the channel, and we are back once again on Demolition Derby 3. So, um, in this video, I'm actually finally going to do uh, that off-road head-to-head that I've been talking about for a while now, since the uh, Comanche came out. I'm finally going to do that, because I need to. So, um, they did add a bunch of new tournaments, so there's nine in total now. Um, which, yeah, I mean, I'll eventually get to those too, but, uh, yeah. So, what I'm thinking in terms of tracks is probably going to be, um, maybe a, so what I'm thinking of tracks, or for the tracks in this, is going to be, um, probably a dirt track, a snow track, and then I was thinking about doing, um, like Aquatic Rewind or something, or the Ferris Wheel Beach, actually. I'm thinking about doing that. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and we'll do, uh, one lap of Hilltop Run. We'll do one lap of the... Dirt Rally in Reverse, and then we'll do one lap of the Ferris Wheel. I know the um, majority of the first two tracks are going to be, you know, off-road surface and or entirely off-road, but, you know, just some tracks are not that way. Like, you can't just stay off-road, you know? So they're kind of like rally tracks, but... Okay, oh, hold on. Ah, I messed that up. Crap. I was gonna... Sorry. Before I, before I went to start, I was gonna uh, make sure that they were all upgraded basically the same, but... Uh, where's the Bronco? What am I doing here? Go into heavies. Make sure that they're all the supercharged V8. I mean, I could do the V10, but... You know. Um, and then, where is the truck... Comanche, what is that one running? So that's got the forced induction V8 also. Gotcha. That's the only one that comes with the Monster Race V8. That's kind of insane. So, yeah, no, we're going to do the Chevy first, and then we're going to do the Ford, and then we're going to do the, um... Oh, the whatchamacallit. The Jeep. So... Yeah. And these are just going to be time trials. They're just going to be one lap because obviously, you know, normally time trials are one lap, so. And we're just going to see which one is faster here based on how they drive, more or less. I don't know if it's hard to hear. Um, no, but I, today is actually Wednesday, I believe. Um, I think it's the 23rd. I'm, I'm not even sure, because I know Sunday was the 20th. Monday was the 21st. Yeah, today is the 23rd. So I had yesterday and then today off. I was go- Oop, crap. That's going to screw up the run, but whatever. I'll probably do that in the other trucks, too. So the Chevy's probably going to lose this, 105.33. I want to I want to see if I can't do a better run than that. And then I'm going to write down what the times were, obviously, so I can keep track. Because <laughs> otherwise I feel stupid, you know. And you guys will know which one's faster on which track, but... I hate how, like, it doesn't matter what you're driving, the AI always beat you up that, like, shortcut, basically. And that's just always annoying, but, yeah. And also, what have you guys been up to? Um, like I said, I've had the last couple days off, which is nice. It's basically a weekend in the middle of the week. I wonder if I can do this in under a minute. Probably not, though. 
No, oh, yeah, it's definitely not happening. Oh, maybe. No, it's not. It'll be closer, though. That's not bad. A 10401, yeah. No, see? That little bit of a wreck probably didn't help. So, 10401. Okay, and then we're going to do the same track again in the Ford, and then the same track again in the Do or the Jeep. I keep wanting to call it a Dodge. It's not a Dodge. It's a Jeep. Um, it's a Jeep, man. You know? I mean, technically, if you want to be specific about it, it's almost closer to an AMC, but... So I think AMC still owned Jeep back then. I don't know, I mean, I guess it would make more sense to upgrade them completely, but at least having the same engine, you know, and tires is one of those that makes the most sense, you know? Or as close to the same engine as I can get, so. That actually handles not too bad. This might actually be faster. Oh, I think this is way faster than the Chevy. Yeah, no, this is way faster than the Chevy. Ford might actually beat it. By a full second, almost. 103.05. And I wonder what the Jeep's gonna do. Because that might actually be even quicker. And if it comes down to it, I might just retest just to see like what what I might have done wrong in that race but you know wait hold on does this thing have sorry you guys does this thing have all the yeah it's got all the armor and stuff on it that's probably not good uh... delete the armor Delete the armor. Does the Chevy have that too? Sorry, you guys. You guys are just like, will you not do that? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know. I know the Chevy had the front grill guard, but nothing else on it. That makes sense. Uh, Comanche. Okay. No, for real this time. Because I think that slow acceleration... Is that... Okay. What the heck is a Corvair doing in this race? I think it's a Corvair. It's not, it's something else. Oh, this thing does hill climbing way better. I think the Jeep is faster, but then again, if I remember riding the Chevy, I didn't do a hill climb where I had the nitrous, I don't think. I'm already like three races in and I can't even tell. This is going to be really, really close. Oh, 104.81. See, the Jeep was slower, which is kind of insane. So the Chevy's in second right now. But I want to retest the Chevy just to make sure. Because I wonder if I may have botched that, and I'm not saying, oh, well, the Chevy should have won. 
No, like I genuinely want to know. Just, just test lap basically, like just to reconfirm what the results are on this. Hitting the nitrous off the start does help, though. You know. Oh, pfft. In case that wasn't very clear. But then hitting the, um... You know. Nailing the street sign doesn't help at all, so... I don't know what to say there. This thing understeers, and I don't understand why. I'm wondering, like... I don't know, what happens if I, uh... Get a slower time than... Oh, no, yeah, this is definitely a slower time. What? What? 102.99. So, the Chevy should have won. My driving is just bad. Okay, makes sense. At least my driving in that instance, anyways. So, we're going to just go with the same formula. Um, all of these are going to start with the Chevy. Actually, no. Um, one's going to start with the Chevy, one's going to start with the Ford, and then one's going to start with the Jeep. And we're going to go... Where is that track? We're going to go to... You know what, we're going to do the Rally Reverse Track last. So we're going to go to Aquatic Rewind. That's what we're going to do. It's been 12 minutes. That's not too bad. Boom. I mean, they seem to do fairly well on asphalt, but, you know, considering. I know, I'm not very talkative in this. I don't know what to say. Like, this actually doesn't drive too bad. Uh, that'll be interesting to watch in the replay. Oh, well, I botched that one, didn't I? The Bronco ended up bucking and it killed me. The bucking Bronco lives up to its name. I find it kind of fun, though, how, like, on the landing... The suspension does move a little bit, like you can feel it bounce, which is cool. I say feel it bounce, you can see it bounce, but you know what I mean. I think you understand what I mean. Like, it bounces like a real off-road truck would, you know? Land it. <laughs> okay, I'm keeping that. I don't care if that puts the truck in last place. That was cool. This track, I swear. Uh, if it's not, you know, the epic landing, it's getting killed by stuff. <laughs> it's Ford versus a bunch of Dodges slash Chevy trucks. Even though it's clearly based on a Chevy, but everybody thinks it's a Dodge.
That was a cool four-wheel drive drift, even though that wasn't intended. I hate the understeer in games like this. Well, just car games in general, like they understeer way too much. You know what? No, if the trucks tend to land like that on that jump, which most of them do, then I'm going to keep it in. Because not keeping that in doesn't really do the game a service, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? It, it basically creates issues... What I'm trying to say is it will create an issue where if I want the truck to land a certain way like that, it's going to do that and then end up killing itself. 133.36. Uh... It's going to end up killing itself. Damn. You know? It's gonna be one of those. Oh, it'll be fine. Then it murders itself, and then uh, you, 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 you and basically, long story short, I'm not gonna. No, I don't want the Russian. Uh, where are you, Comanche? There you are. No, it's just gonna be one of those like these high jumps. They're fun. I love them, but they're a pain because. You know, if you can't keep the truck on the ground, and it's flying through the air and it wrecks, then you lose the race, you know? Too many times and you lose the race, so... This is not gonna land well. Oh, apparently it did land well. I mean, I guess it's better than not landing good at all, you know? Oh no, the long wheelbase on this truck didn't kill it, but the Bronco died. So I know for a fact that this one is probably either going to screw up royally on the jumps back down towards what amounts to ground level, or it's going to, you know, it's either going to do it there, uh, like that. Or it's gonna. You're kidding. 126.50. Okay, that one's the fastest of the day so far. And well, I say of the day of this race. 126.56. See, the problem is, is when you have ugly dismounts, you know, like the truck gets upset. When the vehicle gets very upset, it, it doesn't help anything. Obviously, you guys know this. I mean, I'm basically talking to, or preaching to the choir at this point, you know, which is exactly, blah, 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 is it? crap. It's exactly what that means, but. You know, I mean, I don't know what else to say, like, the truck runs good, I like it, I like all the trucks really, it's just, I mean, this one is my favorite, because of perceived um, influences and so forth, so that definitely has something to do with it, I'm just hoping it doesn't pull the Ford Longhorn Bronco thing and try to end itself on... Let's jump here. 100 miles an hour, come on. Come on, land. Oh, C 
See, that's the landing I'm hoping for. This thing is probably just going to be faster only because um, it's going higher speed, you know? And I really should break there, but like everything in me is telling me no, don't break. You know what I mean? You know, 118, how? That's insane. The gap between that, uh, 118.24, like, this, the, hmm. Like, the first race was pretty consistent. They were fairly close. This race is so inconsistent. Like, there's eight-second gap in the Jeep, and then there's a 15-second gap on the Ford. Like, holy cow. Oh. Like, the Chevy would have beat the Ford. So the Chevy and the Ford... It's, the, the, mm, that's weird. Like, that's just really odd. Like, the first race, the Chevy and the Ford are trading blows. Second race, it's, you know, it's it's the Chevy and the, the Jeep are trading blows. Like, something isn't adding up here. I'm wondering if it's just the track and, like, whether I'm taking different lines. I mean, obviously. Yeah, obviously, I'm taking different lines with, with the cars and everything. But... I mean, I don't know. I'd, I wouldn't think it would affect them that much. I mean, racing lines, yeah. And how often I use my nitrous and whatever. Probably how fast they can go, you know, out of a dig or up a hill. Like, that's one thing. Right? The slow cornering on dirt is just kind of meh. I mean, obviously, it's a slippery surface. Oh, did you guys know that there's a game that's on console that's like a NASCAR slash, you know, like, oval-style racing game called uh, SRX, and it's actually made in Unity? Like, literally, same engine as DD3 and everything. 10025. Okay, that's the Jeep.